Stamp Cell Maker software. Thanks for using this software. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this software. Well, using this software is very easy. The basic concept is you'll need to change the properties of this software of this seal. And here you can see the preview what you have changed. For example, I'm choosing an elliptical shape. Let's give it a radius like 15 millimeter and 20 millimeter just this kind of oval shape and I'm clicking on the generate button and here you can see the shape has changed let's see another example I'm choosing a star or a rectangle and what you have changed accordingly the preview will be changed if you use click the generate button you can also choose uh, to draw any shape you like with the polygon polyline tools for example I'm drawing this shape I'm clicking on generate button and the shape has changed now for now I'm choosing the circle let's give it a 20 millimeter radius this is now 20 millimeter now after changing the shape or choosing the right shape for your seal we are going to change the outer this portion of the seal you can actually change the thickness and the color of this uh, outer shape for example I'm changing it to like 2 for thickness and give it a sorry like 1 I'm also I can also change the frame style for example like this one changing the color I'm choosing the black for now you can also add images around the frame for example I'm choosing this one change something let's decrease the height a little bit more like this one let's use line by for now here in the bands you can actually add text within the shape region and you can add more text as you want Let's see for example, welcome to stamp. Maker software. Here you can see we have add added text. You can let's change the font size, like give it a 15 and here 15 generate it okay I think we should decrease the font size like 13 and 13 it's look relatively better now you can also change the font family for example I'm choosing here where is that Sago UI has changed <coughs> sorry you can also increase the space between the lines for example like this one let's decrease it a little bit you can also add another circular or any shape here Also change the font color if you like 
let's choose red for now it's changed let's keep it that way and you can add more bands if you want for example welcome to special symbols if you want for example I am adding a star here let's see a star is has added let's give it uh, some space I'm choosing a star here too let's add this one So there are two stars added. You can also increase the space between words and symbols if you want. For example, I think you have noticed the changes. The space between words has increased at the top line. Let's visit this part, contour of center. Actually, here you can add another shape at the in the middle for design purpose only, of course. I'm choosing it thickness for one, so you can see the also adding the space. Here you can see there is a new circular shape here. Adding more, for example, let's choose 15 and change the color. Here we have added a contour of the center. Just for now, I'm choosing none, so it's all go away. And obviously, you can add takes in the center. For example, hello. I think we should increase the font size. Let's change it to 25. So font size has increased. And you can also change this position and the space between lines where if you add multiple lines you can also change the space between lines and symbols and you can rotate the text if you want let's give it a 45 
you can add multiple pictures at the center if you want for example I'm choosing this shape I think we should decrease the size let's give it uh, 20 percent by the way you can also change color if you want let's give it a um, red and change its intensity let's set another image another image over the previous image let's make it a little bit smaller like 10% give it a 5% okay. and you can remove the previous image if you click on the cross button Let's remove the first one and make it a little bit bigger, like 10%, like before. We should change this position, give it a 10. Nope, we should bring it to 5. You can also rotate the image if you like change its position but I'm keeping it at 19 oh sorry I should give it a zero and after creating the seal you can also edit this seal you can add this frequency you can also undo your action you can add smudging you can also make it a negative if you want so anything you like you can also change its color if you want keeping the original image there's no need to change color here and you can rotate this image and after that you can change background color for example I'm choosing this yellow you can also preview this image on the bigger or smaller and finally you can print the printing position and the size would be the shape you have given the dimension you've given here if you give it 20 millimeter radius it will be 20 millimeter radius in size you can print from here or here whatever you like So export this as an image and the image will be all obviously high quality rather than this let's see for example desktop I click on output I click on the save button so 
so this is the uh, final output of our stamp this is only 64 percent let's increase it to 100 percent so this is the actual size of the image so it's better quality than this the preview as you can see you can also export this image as Microsoft document file So here new Microsoft Word document will be created with this image. Thank you for watching this video. For more information please visit stampsilmaker.com website.